me wrong, I'm, I'm bloody thrilled we did. It's just she seems a bit put out. Don't you remember anything from that night? Oh, honestly, Ron. It's not my fault. I was poisoned. It must be a side effect. Well, you're not the only one out of hospital. Katie Bell is back. I saw her in the Great Hall. Now we can find out who gave her that necklace. She can tell us who cursed her. Is it true that Katie Bell is back? She has returned from St. Mungus and she's not the worse for wear, I'm happy to say. She's in the Great Hall in Dublin to see her. I know there's a crest around here somewhere. Give me a moment. I know you're going to ask, but I don't know who cursed me. I've tried to remember, but I just can't. Confess what you did, Malfoy. Tell me what you're planning. Shit! <laughs> 
Section Sempra! Don't touch me! Don't you dare touch me! We need to get you to the hospital wing. And you, Potter, where did you learn that spell? I... it was in a library book. Liar! You are to gather all your school books, all of them, and bring them to me here immediately. So, I gave Ron's book to Snape instead. And you used a spell you didn't recognise on Draco? I didn't mean to. He was trying to curse me and I... I just... You have to get rid of the book. And I know just where you can hide it. The Room of Requirement. If you want to conceal something, this is where you come. Close your eyes. There. Now no one will find it. Harry. I've got a secret too. So did you and Ginny do it? What? Hide the book. Oh, yeah. Somewhere in the Room of Requirement. Even I don't know where it is. Well, I think it's a good thing. I mean, using an untested spell on someone. I know. At least you can concentrate on your proper mission for Dumbledore. You haven't had much luck so far, have you? No. But maybe luck is what it will take. It's time I got lucky. Well, how do you feel? Great. In fact, I think I'll take a walk to the Herbology Greenhouses. You need to find Slowcorn, Harry. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Or at least Felix does. You're so clever, attacking Draco like that. He was going to use Cruciatus on me. Now we're going to use Stupefy on you. You really don't want to fight me tonight. Levicorbus! Stupefy! He's done something. I can't hit him. Oh, get him! You won't be so lucky next time, Pa! I don't need luck to beat you.
That's a venomous tentacular. Merlin's beard. Its leaves are quite valuable, aren't they? Yes, I'm not interested in selling them, of course. My interest is purely academic. Not that this specimen would fetch many galleons. Have you tried using a dragon dung fertiliser on it? You think that would work? Ah, oh, yes. I have a feeling it will. Sloth brain. Dragonfly thoraxes. Shall we try it, sir? Spectacular! A dab hand at herbology, too. But you shouldn't be walking about at night, Harry. Actually, sir, I'm just about to go for a walk down to Hagrid's. Ah, I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go off walking the castle grounds alone. Well, by all means, come with me, sir. I knew you'd come to Maury, old Aragog. My oldest friend, he was. Aragog? A giant spider, an acromantula that lived in the forest. Hagrid counted him as a friend, even though it tried to eat me. <laughs> he was just being friendly. <laughs> Hagrid, not to be indelicate, but acromantula venom is very valuable. Would you mind if I extracted a vial or two? Then maybe spoke a few words over the deceased. Oh, Aragog. I'll miss you, old friend. <laughs> Farewell, Aragog, king of arachnids. May your many-eyed descendants ever flourish. A toast to the funeral of a friend. I'm so sorry for your loss, Hagrid. <laughs> to, to Aragog. To Aragog. Do you know why I survived? The night... Voldemort killed my parents. Oh, don't, my boy. Your mother. Oh, she was one of my absolute favourites. She sacrificed herself for me. For everybody. Professor, I'm going to tell you something. It's true. I am the Chosen One. Only I can kill Voldemort. But I need your memory to do it. I need that memory so my mother's sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Here. Yeah. Don't think too badly of me. 
You don't know what he was like. Even then. I think Dumbledore will want to see you. Now you have my memory. I have to go to Professor Dumbledore. Have you seen him? Well, you should really be in your dormitory. But if you're set on seeing him, he can be found in his office. Lumos! Incendio! Where the mother of those crests? Who's still creeping about? I haven't got time for this. You're going nowhere. Stupefy! Hey, Potter! Malfoy will join his loser father in Azkaban before he ever beats me! Sir, I've got it! I've got the memory from Slughorn! This is spectacular news. I knew you could do it. Harry, quickly. Look sharp there, Tom. Now, at last, we shall see. Poor Cruxes. That's very dark stuff indeed, Tom. To make one, you would have to split your soul. And to do that, well, murder. Killing rips the soul apart. To think of doing that once is a violation against nature, but seven times. So, Horace told Tom Riddle about Horcruxes. You see, a Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. And while the Horcrux exists, that person cannot die. Do you think that's what Voldemort has done? He succeeded in making a Horcrux. Oh, he succeeded. And not just once. He made seven. He tore his soul into seven pieces. One resides within him, the other six. Well, you uncounted one Horcrux here in your second year. Tom Riddle's diary. I have accounted for another in the form of this ring. That's how you hurt your hand. And that's where you've been going, to search for the Horcruxes. Yes, Harry. And I think... Perhaps I have found the third. When the time comes, I shall need your help to destroy it. And Snape's making you do the detention? No! He knows it's the deciding match. You'll have to fly instead of me. Dean can take your place as chaser. Gossiping when you should be waiting by my office, Potter. That will be ten points from Gryffindor. What for? I'm not late! I'm not late, sir. There's no need to call me sir. 
Professor? I would have thought you had enough detentions after the incident with Draco Malfoy. Do you require another? Twenty points from Gryffindor. And go to my office. Gryffindor will just have to manage without their chosen one. Poor Gryffindor. Fourth place in the Quidditch Cup this year, I fear. Win that match, Ginny! Win the cup for Gryffindor! Where's Harry? Snape made him do detention. I'm flying as Seeker today. Great! If we win this game, we could win the cup. That's what I promised Harry we would do. We are going to win the cup. Stop being so sulky and let's look at the notice board for the warm-up Harry's planned. Right, here's what we're going to do. 